so uh, thank you guys again for joining us um, for another Tuesday night reaction Zoom meeting from the from the corporate side. Um, it, it is important to all of us, and we we really do enjoy this time with you. It, it's fun. We learn a lot. I learn a lot each week. I know Jeff Jeff's kind of leading this deal, but I know he's learning as we go as well. So we we've had the the pleasure, and uh, we're very fortunate to have these guest speakers that have been joining us last week. Tonight, I think we have a special guest that will be joining us as well. Um, it is it is great. So thank you guys for that. Remember your, your common courtesy of keeping your microphone muted at all times. We will open up for Q&A later as Jeff was talking. Please don't be shy. Ask your questions. We're all here to help each other. So if you have a question, write it in the chat bar or feel free to, to unmute your mic when, when it's necessary. So with that, Jeff. Thank you, buddy. I'll let you take it from here. Thank you, Billy. Appreciate it, man. I uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and a, and a wonderful weekend and a, and a, and a great holiday. Um, uh, thank you, as always, for joining us on, on Tuesday nights. Uh, giveaways tonight. We're going to be giving away a T-shirt, as always. And tonight, we're going to be giving away a full-size tincture, uh, 500 milligram uh, of the natural flavor. So if you're on at the end of the call, uh, stick around and we'll be making that drawing and good luck to everybody. There are a couple of things I want to share without sharing tonight. I, I got permission from our head office in Omaha, Nebraska. That's an old David Letterman joke, but I did receive permission to, to tease everybody. We've got a couple of things and a couple of announcements to make. And I will tell you, they have specifically, uh, they're mostly to do with our product line. We're adding a couple of things. They should probably be out and available within two weeks, I'm told, maybe by the end of next week. I can't tell you anymore because we don't want to mention it or, or broadcast it and then not hit our deadline. But a lot of times it's just strictly the packaging and the labeling and things like that that we're, that we're waiting on. But hopefully by the, next, uh, the end of the next week, we will have these available. And I will tell you, I'm as, as big as it was launching the pet line, because I know there's people having tremendous success with the pet line, this is going to be even bigger than that. And that's all I can say. It's, uh, I, I think it's one of those things that actually is going to, to, to change uh, our business. And I, and, I, and I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people. So uh, again, we're working every day uh, to um, make it easy, uh, uh, as easy as possible for you to, to create a success with your businesses. And I think this is something that, that people will respond to in a big, 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 big way. Um, we do have a guest speaker tonight, uh, Wendy Lloyd who is a uh, licensed, and when, when you can jump in here if I, if, I, if I do this incorrectly, she is a licensed counselor. She is also a motivational speaker and has her own business and is, and is a mentor as well. Um, and we're thrilled to have her join us tonight. As, as you know, for the last couple of weeks, we've tried to focus on, on giving you something really of value, another tool that you can use was really big last week, last week when we announced the script. So my question for everybody is, and I, I, I want to talk about this when we get to the Q&A, how many people have looked at their scripts? How many people have accessed them? How many people have downloaded them? How many people have familiarized themselves? How much are you working with these scripts? The key, as in the email that went out to everybody, is taking those scripts and making them your own. But it's a wonderful, wonderful tool. And the more you can make them your own. The more you can absorb them, uh, the, the more successful you're going to be when it comes to communicating uh, this product. I had a conversation with somebody today who has been uh, with me in the business for quite some time and it's doing fairly well. And there were a couple of things that came up that I realized that she wasn't even aware of. And again, I don't mean to single her out. I'm not going to mention any names, promise. Um, but I sometimes wonder how much people are, number one, reading their emails. How much time do you spend familiarizing yourself with all the, 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 the resources that are available on the, on the website? It's really, really important. There were two things that came out, and this is a medical professional, and she is constantly trying to find a way to communicate to other medical professionals because sometimes the, the, um, the standard that they're looking for is, I wouldn't say higher, but it's a little bit different than what somebody like you or I might, might request. They, they really wanna know the science of it and, and the medicine of it and all that kind of stuff. And there were two things that, interesting that came out today 
that she really wasn't aware of. And one of them was, was um, with regard to our extraction process, our machines, and more particularly, the fact that we have, I found out today, I thought it was the only certified lab in North Carolina. It turns out within this industry, within our space, we have the only ISO certified lab in the world. Correct me if somebody wants to jump in there from, from behind the curtain uh, in Mooresville, but uh, that's huge. ISO 9001, ISO stands for International Standards Organization, I think. And it's basically agreements, an agreement between uh, countries so that all of our standards um, are, are held to a certain accountability. Otherwise, uh, things that were made in one country would never get approved in another country. Um, so it's really important to have this ISO certification, and it's in all businesses and, and certainly manufacturing processes that we all adhere to these, to these standards, which are quite high. We have the only, I'm going to say it again, we have the only ISO certified uh, processing facility in the world within our space. That's huge. And again, when it comes down to knowing what you're getting, knowing where it's coming from, knowing the quality of stuff, another week has gone by. Another five different products were presented to me from people saying, what do you know about this? What do you know about this? Another thing that I found really interesting today that you guys can kind of just tuck away is people can go out. You can, you can raise some money right now and go out and buy an extraction machine for, I'm guessing, what are they, $40,000 or something? And there's some that are more expensive than that. Already, somebody's backing up. Um, so uh, you can go out and buy machines and you can invest a couple of, uh, there you go right there, other ISO labs, but not 9001, which has to do with quality assurance, I believe. Our machine, just so you know, and I'm gonna get my hands up here, our machine costs $5 million. That's what our extraction machines cost, $5 million. And we had to then kind of tear them down to add an additional four steps to the process which is what makes ours patented proprietary besides, besides our machines. That's really important, again, when it comes to, to knowing what it is that you're getting and the standard we're dealing with here. I say this every week. I say to the people I talk to, we have one of the best products in the world on the market. And you really have to know that. And you really have to believe in that because it's true. Um, anyway, so I wanted to throw that out because it was an inter interesting conversation I had today. And I, and I thought that was uh, valuable information to know those things. On that note, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue with our ongoing Business Builders series. Uh, as mentioned, the, the, the scripts uh, that came out last week are a tool and they're, they're, they're designed to be looked at as a tool. Uh, the best, best thing I ever heard um, re regarding a, a toolkit was when I was studying acting. And when it comes to studying acting and learning a technique, a, a technique is like digging a hole and you're using a shovel, and then when you hit a rock, being able to reach up and grab a pick, break through the rock, and then go back to using the shovel, that's what tools are supposed to be designed for. Much like what we're giving you in terms of the videos, we've got another great video coming out probably by the end of the week, it might be up early next week, um, with the videos, uh, the library, the scripts, they're all tools. Mindset, talking about these things, goal setting, uh, achieving, achieving objectives, mm -hmm. they're all tools too. So. We've got Wendy speaking with us tonight. Again, she's a licensed counselor. Uh, she works with uh, primarily women, I think, but works with women that have uh, dealt with, I think, uh, some rather severe cases of PTSD and uh, been in abusive relationships and uh, dealing with anxiety and depression and things like that. All of this ties into, I think, our mission of what it is we're trying to do to help people, certainly, but also uh, getting our own mind right. And that's really important, like we've talked about, is getting our own mind right before we talk to people. Because if we don't believe in this and our mind isn't right about the opportunity we're sharing with people, it's, it's going to make things a little harder. So on that note, I'm going to welcome Wendy Lloyd. Wendy, are you with us? Yep, I'm here. There she is. You're a, li you're a, little, a little low in volume. I'm not sure if you can... Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you better. Yep. Okay. It might be the mic I'm using. Okay. Anyway, well, Wendy, welcome. Thank you very much for, uh, there she is right there. Uh, thank you very much for joining us tonight. And uh, take it away, ladies and gentlemen, Wendy Lloyd. 
All right, thank you, Jeff. And thank you guys for letting me speak tonight. Mindset is definitely a topic I speak on frequently. And Jeff, you got it correct. I'm a licensed professional counselor. Um, I'm a transformational coach as well. And in my coaching business, I primarily work with women. So, um, so I'm excited tonight to just talk to you guys about mindset. I compacted my little mindset speech as much as I could for tonight. Before I start with that, I just wanted to share, you know, where I'm at. My relationship with reaction started about a month ago, and I was introduced to reaction through Joni, um, Joni Dunn, some of you know her. And Joni was sharing with me, I guess it was actually her daughter's testimony on how the products were changing her life. And simultaneously, I was doing my own research as far as CBD and full spectrum, and the impact on people's health because I was having a lot of clients coming off of um, anxiety medications, depression medications, taking their kids off Adderall because of CBD. So there was kind of this simultaneously in sync thing happening. And then Joni said to me, you really have to talk to Jeff. And I was a little hesitant because as probably many of us, we have throughout the years, I've been approached from numerous MLMs kind of got my toes wet with a couple of them and it, it just didn't feel right, it didn't align. So I really didn't move forward with them. But I did, fast forward, I did meet with Jeff. We sat down, we had some coffee. He shared with me primarily the products with um, Reaction. And in our conversation, we realized we had some overlaps and connections, um, various aspects of our lives, but particularly to Reaction. And that's a whole nother story I'm not going to get into, but it just added more to kind of the alignment of me joining Reaction because the season I'm in in my life now, I make a lot of decisions off of instinct and if things are aligning um, with me, with my message and my goals. And one of the things I, I needed to look into before committing was contacting my licensing board and making sure if I did affiliate myself with Reaction, it wouldn't impact that license. And um, when I contacted the board, interestingly enough, you know, we got all the requirements and recommendations and stuff squared away. They referred me to the website for my, uh, my professional board license website. And on the front of the website were several articles about CBD. And so guys, I'm telling you, like, we know this, but we are in an industry that's about to explode. And the professional organizations, they're hopping on board, they're doing their own research. So, you know, this is big and this is big stuff. And I think we're all positioning ourselves in a great place because the next year, next couple of years, it's just gonna grow even more. So what solidified my yes for reaction was meeting Candace, hearing her story, and more so her passion her passion for really wanting to help people exponentially, which is complete alignment with what, what I do and what my mission and vision is for my life. So that solidified the yes, and I came on board. The products are phenomenal. I've been able to, I was about two and a half weeks into using them and was able to uh, reduce my thyroid medication that I've been on for over 20 years now. So that was really exciting for me. So I'm sold on the products and as well as the company. So that's just a little bit how I connected with them and a little bit of my testimony. And I'm gonna go ahead now and just, I'm gonna share my screen, I think, I'm gonna try. And go ahead and start so um mindset so i when speaking with jeff and candace and about what direction to go with tonight and talking to you all about mindset really the focus is about mindset when it comes to your businesses developing your teams and selling your you know the products um, from reactions so tonight we're going to talk about mindset when your brand is you so the, most of you on here, if not all of you on here tonight are ambassadors. You own your company. You know, you are the face of your company. You are the brand of your company. And as you go out and promote to build your team, to sell products, it's you and your, you know, that people are gonna trust. It's you that people are going to really say yes to 
when they come on board. So it's really important that when you're speaking with people, whether just casual conversations or presentations or you know, scheduled meetings or calls with people to discuss reaction, that you're doing it from a place of confidence, from a positive mindset, and really your passion for the products and the company really come through. So it's really about getting your mindset in the right place to be as successful as you can. So uh, what is mindset? Essentially, mindset is the collective of our perceptions, all of our experiences, our knowledge, relationships, visions, beliefs. It's, you know, it's formulated really by our world and our experience and perception of our external world as well as internally. And it's really, it's the filter. It's the filter where we receive and process information as well as the filter to which we project and communicate to others, um, you know, in our relationships and our experiences and such. So, and like all filters, right, we need to, to go in once in a while and clean it out so that, you know, things are flowing properly. So our energy's flowing. So we're in the right place and we're receiving and also, you know, putting out there positive and good energy and know what's driving us, what is driving our choices, our decisions and such. So just a quick, you know, the foundation of mindset, where is our mindset? How do we, you know, develop where we're at with our mindset? It really starts from the moment we're born. Um, some may even say conception because research does show that the well-being of mom has a direct impact on the well-being of the fetus. Essentially, from the moment we're born, we begin, you know, taking in our environment, taking signals, taking in messages. And what happens as we experience life, we begin to formulate internal beliefs and thoughts about our external world and our internal world. So, you know, those experiences are based on our perceptions, based on where we're at, you know, developmentally in our life, what's going on in our environment. Um, you know, as an example, you know, if you take, like, say, a three-year-old, right, and that three-year-old draws this picture, takes this picture with all her anxiety, you know, all her excitement as a three-year-old to mom, is so proud about this picture, and presents it to mom, who is busy, you know, mom's probably helping brother with homework or making dinner or whatever, occupied and responds but pretty you know somewhat dismissive so you know yeah nice picture Susie that's great now go on and play nothing you know neglectful abusive anything but to that three-year-old right mom didn't match her level of excitement so in her world cognitively she doesn't have the ability to take in the whole picture and realize mom was just busy and probably wasn't a good time to go to mom with this so she feels discouraged or disappointed or sad and that gets stored and it gets stored away in her mind in her really this our subconscious mind is where all of our experiences um, are stored and in turn as we grow those seeds that are planted young begin to get nurtured based on our life experiences based on our environments and our relationships. And we begin to formulate a belief system. We be begin to formulate an internal, you know, kind of tape, which ends up driving really our choices and such in life. So, you know, 95% of all of our thoughts, you know, behaviors, choices, experiences are stored in our subconscious mind which really are the driving force behind our choices and our decisions behind our failures and you know our successes it really where the foundation of our confidence comes from is all you know is a collective of all of our life experiences so you know from the perspective of of our companies and reaction and speaking confidently you know as jeff pointed out we have, um, these scripts are amazing, and I'm really grateful that we have them. They're phenomenal. I love the fact, you know, all the objections that we have. I think we probably pretty much cover every objection possible. 
which is reassuring. And you know, you can study those and you should study those and put your own twist on them. So it's net genuine and natural. Study the products, know the products, know what's in them, you know, know what they can potentially help with people and the business model, you know, know the business model. You can know all of that, like the back of your hand, but if you're not out speaking from a place of confidence and assurance, then, you know, you're really going to be impacting your level of success. So it really is a collective of everything and being passionate about what it is, you know, you believe about in the product and in the business. And if you're not, and if there's hesitation or resistance, you need to take some time and think about where is that coming from? What is driving that? And oftentimes it's a limiting belief or, you know, some negative internal tape that's been built up over the years. One way to identify what that is, is to look at, look at your patterns, look at the patterns in business, look at your patterns in relationships and family, um, your life experiences is one way to start to really look at, you know, what is the message that I'm sending to myself that's preventing me from really going out there and being fully confident in my message and what I'm sharing and what I believe in. Um, so I don't know why that went backwards. Oops. <laughs> okay, let me go the right way here. All right. So when we talk about mindset and shifting, you know, our mindset and making sure we're in a positive frame, a lot of it comes down to perspective and how we're looking at things and, and um, how we're perceiving things. One thing that I learned a couple years ago, I went through a sales training for a publishing company. One of the things that really stood out to me was when um, he told us, you know, one of the biggest fears when it comes to sales or talk, you know, promoting things is, you know, we're afraid of rejection, our fear of rejection, and really that power of no, right? And so what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You go and you talk to somebody about, about reaction, about the products or the business or both. You know, the worst outcome of that is they're going to tell you no, you know, it's not for them or, you know, whatever their objections are. So from, as an example of how to really shift your perspective and make sure you're in that positive mindset and positive flow is recognizing no may really just means not right now. No may not really mean a solid, absolute no. Um, as a disclaimer, <laughs> before I go any further, I'm talking specifically to sales and to business. And you know, when we're promoting reaction and building your teams and building your business, because obviously other contexts, no does mean no, no question. <laughs> so I just want to put that out. I don't want any liability on me with that. But no, so, you know, you're talking to somebody about the product or the business and, you know, they tell you no. Well, that no might mean, you know, not right now because I don't have the, the money or I don't have the time or maybe they need to do more research. No could mean they're going to sit back and they're just going to watch you for a little bit. And as they see you grow and become more successful, then that no might become a yes at that point. And for some people, no really is going to mean no. It's just not for them, whether it's the business or the product or, you know, and no matter what you believe, no matter how much we all can believe that everybody can benefit from these products, it's just not going to be for everybody. And that's okay. And that's the other, the other side of this is recognizing that even when someone says no to you, even if somebody says to you, you know, no, you know, I've I don't believe in any of that stuff and I can't even believe you're doing this or whatever. That's not personal. Don't take that personally. That's about that person. That's about something in their experience or in their mindset or in their belief system or their fear that they're putting out there. So it's really not personal. There's really, you really have nothing to lose to go and, you know, present your passion for reaction to other people. So really focusing on what perspective you're coming from when you're talking to people about the product and the business as well. So essentially, 
you know, our thoughts impact our emotions, which impact our behavior and our actions and our results. And if you don't like the results you're getting, if you don't feel that you're being as successful as you can be with reaction or really anywhere in your life, go back through and determine what is it, where do you need to make those changes? You know, are, is it a behavior change? Is it something in your emotions or does it go back to the thought, to the original thought or belief system that you've developed, that you've internalized throughout the years? And, you know, take a look at that. And like I said, one way to go back with the, with the thoughts is to look at patterns throughout your life, you know, or look through, think through experiences. And really, you can really pull out and begin to identify what are those limiting beliefs or blocks that are preventing you from really being fully engaged and, you know, fully open to the success that you can, you can have from reaction. And one of those, you know, think about what were your hesitations when you joined, if you had any, what were your objections or what are, what are you still hesitant about? Take a look at that and really go in and work on that, work on flipping that script, flipping that negative into positive. And how do we do this? Well, so first of all, awareness is key and awareness is key to any change or focus that we want to make in our life anywhere. And, and so becoming aware of the fact that, you know what, I'm not as being, I'm not as successful as I want to be. Maybe you're not getting as many yeses as you'd like to be. And unless you're Candace or Billy, right, you're probably gonna get more no's than yeses, um, especially early on. So just, you know, that awareness and what are the blocks, what are the things that are holding me back from really going out there and sharing this with, you know, energy and confidence that is gonna draw people in. And because one thing that I meant to touch on on the last slide was, People are going to buy or buy into something on emotion and their experience. So how you're presenting this to them is really going to be a big factor into you know their their decision. Yes, they're going to look at the products and the quality and the business model, but even how you're presenting it. So if you're presenting it from a place of you know you're not confident or you're a little hesitant or you're not sure or you're already anticipating the no you know, you're already putting that energy out there. So don't even go there. Just stay focused on the positive side of it. And some ways to do that, you know, priming your mind. Priming your mind is really just kind of mentally preparing yourself. Um, all speakers do this. Kind of get themselves ready. Jeff, maybe you can attest to the fact a lot of actors, actresses, performers kind of get their, their mind primed and ready to go before they arrive and perform. We need to be, you need to be that too. Before you have the conversation or that meeting with somebody to discuss reaction, really get your mind right and focused and focused on, you know, why do you believe in this product? What is it that drew you in and helped you believe enough to, to join and to sign on as an ambassador? You know, we talked about vision boards last week. So keeping that why, why are you doing this? Why is it important for you? individually, personally, to be successful with this. And go in with an open, positive, confident mind when you're going to speak with people. Um, meditation, prayer, being still, quiet time. I can't emphasize that enough for um, not only attaining a positive mindset, but sustaining that positive mindset. You know, take time, disconnect from all the external um, distractions and noise. And just be quiet, just be still. That's a great way to really bridge that subconscious, what's going on in our subconscious and bring it over to our conscious mind. So we're aware of what's driving us. We're aware of what is causing us to hesitate or preventing us from being as successful as we can be. So that quiet time is really, really important. Affirmations are huge. Um, you know, every day, just look in the mirror and with confidence and conviction, you know, I am you know, confident, I am worthy, I am capable, 
And a great way to start with affirmations is to really, to go and identify what is the faulty thinking or what is that, that why really that you're telling yourself. You know, maybe it's, um, I'm not capable of being successful. Nothing I do ever turns out right. Well, then your affirmation needs to be, I am capable of being successful. I will be successful. So that affirmation should be the opposite of whatever that false belief is that's been driving you and driving your decisions. And really, like I said, with conviction, with confidence, re repeat that affirmation throughout the day. Do it for as long as it takes till it really feels true and feels integrated into your belief system because we do have the power to change up that tape. We do have the power to con really control our mindset but it takes conscious effort. It takes, you have to be intentional about it. And it takes daily work. You know, I teach this stuff all the time. And yet for me, it's an ongoing process as well. So, and then I already touched on releasing the blocks, eliminate those false beliefs, you know, get rid of them, identify them and let them go. You know, if it's not serving you in a good positive way, get rid of it. You know, it, it, certain does not serve a purpose any longer um, and then if you're having a hard time with that of course there's counselors and coaches out there that can help with that but really just like I said look at the patterns of your your life your businesses your successes your failures and you're going to be able to to identify for yourself what's driving you and what's holding you back from really being successful so um, with that, I'm going to leave you guys with, as we talked about, you are your brand. The, this is your business. You are building your team. You are building your own success here. So just remember that. Remember that people are looking to you. People are going to say yes to you, to joining your team because of you, because you are your brand. So be confident about that. So that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Wendy, well thank you. Said, Wendy. Very, yeah. very much. Am I back on? Can people hear me? Yeah. Uh, and I think your microphone went out there, Wendy. Um, okay. Yep. I'm here. There you are. Um, thank you so much for all that. My mind's kind of spinning, uh, <laughs> you know, with all the, with all the information. Um, and for anybody out there that's listening to this going, wow, that's really fascinating, but what does that have to do with me and reaction and all this kind of stuff? It goes back to all of us making a decision. Again, my decision, once I bought into the product, once I bought into the company, my decision is, you know what? I will not fail at this. I'm going to create a success with this. And I think everybody needs to have that same kind of mindset is that you are going to make this work because it's worthy it has value to other people i don't know is if there's anybody on the zoom tonight that can say without a doubt unequivocally they are completely happy and satisfied with their lives in every way shape or form because i think there might be some people taking the product if those people exist out there i don't know that they do to be honest with you but we're all here for a reason because we we think we've we've identified an opportunity that we can then create a success for ourselves with as well. So building a mindset, that's, that's a tool. Wendy talked about were some of the things that can kind of help us address that mindset. I would love to hear some more uh, questions from everybody uh, tonight about some of these things. Uh, it's really important. My one question would be for people that are, let's say I'll use the word struggling or, or not advancing as quickly as they might like to, what's the number one reason as far as your tangible reason? Is it because you don't, you still don't feel confident in, in answering questions and talking about it? You, you don't know how to talk to people? Is it because you don't know who to talk to? Again, when you combine all of these skills and all of these tools, such as some of the Facebook things we talked about a couple of weeks ago, with the scripts, with a healthy mindset, these are tools that add up to what, hope, what I hope is a success for everybody here. Like Wendy said, you need to be aware of it first and you need to figure out what it is that is the, is the tipping point here for you. 
Again, there's um, somebody just said time to contact people. I, I think then it comes down to literally setting aside, uh, whether it's a half an hour a day, an hour a day, 20 minutes a day, even if it's just sending one email to somebody or making one phone call. I, I don't know how to give you more time in the day other than is it possible, for instance, to, again, set aside a half an hour just, just for yourself where you can send one email, like I said, or, or get on a Zoom with somebody, et cetera. Again, this thing can build very, very quickly for, for, for all of you just by starting simple. We, we don't need 10 people. So have you made your list? Um, working with the scripts? Uh, are you reaching out, finding a way that works best for you? These are all so, such valuable things. Um, I'm going to open it up for questions now. And I, and I hope we have a few here. So anybody would like to jump in? This is the part we get don't to every week. Uh, yeah, don't be shy. Jeff, that bar I, is open. <laughs> I'll talk first. I always talk first. Thank Come you, on. Lindy. Hey, I know you all have questions. I think the most interesting thing that Wendy said and I think I, I'm going to put it to use for myself, is to look in my mirror every morning and, and tell myself that I can do this and to remind myself all day long about that because I don't really have a confidence situation, but I've got probably other things that I need to work on. But I really like the fact is telling yourself you can do something. It does make a huge difference in your life. So I thank you, Wendy. I really appreciated that because I'm going to use that. It's, it's really important too, Lindy, that you that you brought that up and, and following up on what Wendy said. What what we're all doing here is we're all starting our own business. Now I've always been self-employed. Starting my own business is, is not daunting for me. It's something I've I've done in, in in a number of scenarios where I've reinvented myself several times in my life. And I think one of the one of the things about some of the the direct marketing kind of uh, marketing gobbledygook is that oh you can you know, work for yourself, work from home, make a gazillion dollars, et cetera. It sounds really easy. On some surface, this is, is not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But what we're trying to do is to give you the tools that will make it easy. And it comes down to the difference between you, somebody that's jumped into something like this, with, a, again, a great product and a wonderful company, and somebody who doesn't, is somebody that's open to the possibilities. And I would think that's a, that's a tremendous part of why we're all here too, is because we see the value in this. Um, so I don't want to say to everybody, it's the hardest thing in the world, but we are hopefully ad addressing and identifying some of these things and giving you the tools that will, that will help you succeed. At some point, you know, uh, part of when I was coaching actors and dealing with actors who had stage fright, for instance, or would get tremendously nervous in front of people, sometimes what you got to do is you just got to rip the bandaid off, take the net away and say, jump. So I'm kind of encouraging you to, to jump. Like Wendy said, what's the worst thing that's going to happen if somebody says no? Nothing is the answer, is the answer. And the more people you talk to, the more people say no, the better at it you're going to get. Um, anyway, next question from anybody. Hi, Wendy. It's Rachel Atkins. Hey, Rachel. I really enjoyed everything that you covered so much so that I want to re-listen to it. So I'm glad everything got recorded. I, I've heard a lot of what you've said, but just not in a long time. Um, so great job there. Um, like I said, I'm, I think it's like reading a book. Same thing with re-listening to a Zoom. You're going to pick up some things, right, that you didn't take in. I think the brain can only absorb so much, right, in any given time. Uh, but my question is um, approaching the medical uh, side, you know, um, would there be certain types of doctors, chiropractors, coaches, you know, you name it, a certain target audience that would be best for these products? Um, it's fun to ask. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think part of some of the obstacles, I don't know, Jeff, if I just jumped in, I shouldn't have, but um, <laughs> That's fine. Um, some of the obstacles with it, you know, as far as like a, a 
primary care physician, for example, is their licenses, they have to be very careful um, what they're so, who they're associating with and what they're um, you know, prescribing and stuff to their patients. They have to really be cautious of that. But a lot of the integrative functional doctors, um, I have a friend that's actually speaking tomorrow night that owns a massage studio, um, therapist, you know, a lot of therapists that I've been trying to talk to, I'm gonna, I'm working on educating them in my area because a lot of them don't realize that they can be part of this. They, they, they have this assumption that because of our licensing, we can't um, be part of a company like this. And that's false. You know, I've checked and I've actually checked with some of the other licensing boards as well. So um, I think it's a lot of education, Rachel, which you seem to be very good at. I love watching your stuff that you're doing out there. So I think it's a lot of educating people. And as it evolves, more of these medical associations, which indirectly impact licensing boards, are going to come on board with this. I yeah. also, part, part two, Jeff, just I wanted to mention something. I also think you were open minded, Wendy, to sampling the products, correct? Yourself? Yes. And I think, wouldn't you agree the best targets are going to be open to sampling the products themselves? sampling the products themselves and research and while why I was researching it because I I'm, I'm having more and more clients coming in to my counseling practice that like I said kids are coming off Adderall um, there's huge research a colleague of mine who does substance abuse counseling he sent me a bunch of information that the um, full spectrum particularly is almost it's somehow it's reprogramming the neurotransmitters so people that are addicted to opioids and stuff it's actually reversing that um, in them so it's phenomenal the research that's out there and i think as time goes on and more of this becomes legal and on all that they're they're gonna come on board um, i know some doctors that would love to join me but they're, they're really fearful because they obviously got to protect their licenses. So, uh, Wendy, you touched on some very important points as, as far as uh, just some of the fear. Um, also, there's a lot of do doctors that still don't know, uh, let's put it this way, I know more than they do about this. So I would think your first target, to use that word, uh, Rachel, would be somebody who is open to alternative forms of treatment. Again, another speaker tomorrow night besides Wendy uh, is that we have a naturopathic uh, doctor um, uh, speaking as well. That's primarily what she does, and it's it's she, she's got three or four different titles, including uh, a botanist. So when you talk about plant-based medicine, it requires somebody to be open to that. I think personally, and again, this is not for everybody. Uh, we've got uh, a friend of mine uh, is talking to several doctors and a couple of other pharmacists, for instance. That's going to be a really long sales cycle if you make it if you make it part of your model as far as approaching doctors, if they're interested, great move. If they're not, you're not going to convince a doctor. And I've talked to several of them that, that, uh, that, that this is something they should jump into now. They're all learning uh, as, as well. Um, so, so that's really important. Another thing to remember about the reason, one of the reasons Candace chose to go the direct selling, the direct marketing route with this is because what the model is, is we go directly to the consumer. We don't have middlemen. We don't have distributors and logistics and warehousing and all this other kind of stuff. We don't have then, uh, then a middleman to sell it. So you go right to the consumers because it would be a very, very difficult path with something like this that requires such education. Um, if you put it on a shelf in a grocery store, nobody's going to buy it. Um, people are buying stuff out there now, and generally, it's the cheapest product that wins. And we all know that there's a lot of not so good stuff out there. Um, so that's why we're going direct marketing. In the meantime, if you if you have doctors, Rachel, that are open to it, if you have friends that are doctors, uh, then I'd say by all means get them the information, um, uh, get them the information, and, and and see what see what happens. It, it's it's uh, I, I think it's a it's a bit of an uphill uh, climb pushing a boulder if you have a doctor that's even slightly resistant and there are still plenty of western doctors who are not who are still um and you have to keep in mind they i don't mean to 
say there's not good doctors, but um, uh, they make their money writing prescriptions. Um, to answer the question about um, uh, the uh, veterinarian, I've spoken to several veterinarians. I've spoken to veterinarians. I've spoken about vet veterinarians because I thought that would be a really, really, um, you know, powerful uh, avenue to to approach this. Uh, my first, I'm not sure who it was, somebody in Florida, I forget her name, said that she had a friend who was a veterinarian in North Carolina, but that she was, um, not only could she not prescribe it, and doctors cannot prescribe this, doctors will not prescribe it, and that includes veterinarians. Where the sticking point came is that this veterinarian apparently had said that she was not allowed to recommend it, suggest it, or basically talk about it in any way. It turned, so what I did, I'm like, well, that seems a little, a little harsh. So I called the North Carolina Board of Veterinary Medicine and asked them, was there anything that would prevent a veterinary, veterinarian from uh, suggesting or, or, or you know, recommending this product? And they said, no, not really. You can go in, on our website and look at the things. It turns out that she was still, the veterinarian was still under the impression that, that um, up until January 1st of 2018, this hemp, was still on the list with marijuana as a as a controlled substance, as a class one controlled substance, which by the way also includes things like heroin. So up until January 1st, 2018, nobody could mention this, recommend it, and they couldn't even recommend uh, uh, medicinal marijuana because it was in fact still illegal on a statewide level. I don't know of any states, don't quote me on this because I haven't looked into all of them, but I don't know of any states that would say that a veterinarian couldn't recommend or suggest this because if this is in fact now legal in all 50 states. Um, so I, I think if you have a veterinarian, just like a doctor who is open to this, I just saw the note about the neurologist who's not open to this at all. You got to understand what, you know, 80 years of propaganda will do. Um, uh, and, you know, it's like, listen, there are cars that can get 300 miles a gallon but nobody's going to get them made. Um, and there's Regina. Hello, Regina. How are you? Um, she said that as a dentist here in, in the Charlotte area, she's allowed to, to, to sell the product. So it's, it's mainly the information, the misinformation. Um, and then Greg. Who's Greg? Let's... Uh... G GK Reaction. Hey, what's up? Oh, that's Billy. Sorry. Hey, Billy. So, so I, I just want to say something real quick, and then we're going to get... GK reaction, Greg on here to, to give us a testimony. So to kind of sum this up and, and non-professional Billy speaking here right now, it goes back to the 3% of Americans are really educated and knowledgeable when it comes to CBD and hemp products. That's what we're dealing with to sum it up. As this continues, as time goes, it's really our job to educate people. It is our job. One of our main goals and objections or, or objectives is to, educate people on the differences in CBD and FSE. So we, we have a job to do as ambassadors and that's to go out there and speak to everyone that we come across. I've, I've been in the vet. I just tell them what I'm doing. I, I don't, I don't ask them their opinions or suggestions as far as what I'm doing with, with my dog and my pig. I show them videos. L look what this doing. So they go in there and they're like, wow, the, the dog, they're like, this is the most in shape perfect looking dog I've ever seen I was like yeah I, I give him FSE every single morning so all we can do is just share what we're doing and kind of educate people on how special these products are that we have so Greg uh, uh, again not, not to tell everybody how to do it if, if you run into a doctor that is that has got his heels dug in the sand and is not going to budge I'd say you know what you just got to kind of let him go and take the knot right now and as this stuff becomes uh, more widely accepted um, and doctors get on board, um, uh, then it might be a, 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 a different time to approach them. If you have somebody that's open, by all means, I think it's a great avenue. So we're going to talk to, is it Greg about his neurologist? That's the... Yeah, can people hear me? There you are, Greg, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Uh, just a little background. Um, basically, we got involved um, in July and the reason is because a year and a half ago, uh, my, my little son, uh, who's nine years old, was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome. Um, and we went to his doctor and we asked for 
you know, what type of possibilities we're looking at, you know, medication wise, and they put them on Adderall, they put them on Focalin, they put them on Lamictal and Amantadine. So he was taking four major medications every day, hated them tremendously, but he still had to take them. Um, then we had Ambassador Sharon and Alex Yonchuk talk to us about CBD, who uh, we started doing some research. We talked to his doctor about it. His doctor was pretty much unfortunately against it, still wanted him on the medication. But then we went over to his neurologist and his neurologist was, well, let's try whatever we can. Um, wasn't going to be on board with becoming an ambassador, but wasn't against it. Well, as of August this year, he is off of all medication. Um, and as Billy, Victoria, you know, uh, Ron, Candace, and Lindy can attest to, because they do know him, is that there has been a tremendous, tremendous change in him. Um, he's not ticking as much because his stress level and um, is just way down. Now, he still has ticks. It's not going to correct them. It's not a medication for that. But he doesn't stress as much, which means he's not ticking. He's not disrupting his class as much. He's still able to focus extremely well in class. His grades have gone up um, since we've taken him off of all the medication. He's actually got an appetite now. Before, he was only having just a little bit of food. Now he's out. Of, he's eating me out of house and home. But um, this this product, and as I can't thank Alex and Sharon, Yanchuk enough, and along with you know. Um, the Hornadays that this product has changed my wife and, and my life because now we have somewhere to look for a future for our son that's not going to be dependent on all these medications. Um, he gets about a thousand tincture in the morning along with a pill. And then at lunchtime, we give him about a quarter piece of fudge. And then depending on how he's going for the rest of the day, he'll get another quarter piece possibly before bed but it has made a world of difference on, on him. Greg, I, I don't know you, but I got to tell you, I'm sitting here like tearing up a little bit. <laughs> if anybody on the Zoom call needs to re-examine why it is that we're doing this, you just need to listen to what Greg said. And the thing that is so important, here is somebody that needed this product, that genuinely needed this product, but you might not know anybody like that. But your neighbor might be not that per might not be that person. But your neighbor might know Greg. That's why I encourage people to talk about this because you never know where the people are that are going to benefit from the most from something like this. You know, I'm 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 thrilled and and so proud to be a part of this that that has done something like that for your I, again. It just it's it, it gave me chills too. And thank you so much for sharing. Um, we, we might have to uh, recruit you to come uh, uh, speak at some of our events, Greg. That's just unbelievable. I mean, it really I, is. I've been actually trying to get Connor, who's my son, to try to talk a couple of times. And he, he's, he's a little shy. He'll, he'll gotcha. talk, like he's talked to Bill and he's talked to Lindsay and Victoria, but he, he's, he's warming up a little bit. He wants, to, he wants to talk. He just, he gets up there and he just really, unfortunately, doesn't say anything at that point. And, and I keep... I keep saying, my gosh, what I wouldn't give on a human level to have some sort of short video put together that showed him before and shows him now. Um, and I, that's why I encourage everybody, if, if you do meet somebody that has some, some rather, um, you know, some rather, uh, you know, severe conditions, pictures are great. But I, I mean, I, I, would, I would love to, to meet Connor. Um, I, seen I, it, I seen it yesterday, and it, it blew my mind. Jeff, and I, I'm saying this to everybody, Greg and Connor were in the, in the shop yesterday, and normally you can hear him with his tics. You know, at first, I'll, I'll tell you guys, it was, his tics were, were pretty severe. And we, we'd have meetings every Wednesday, and they'd come, and his, his tics were, were pretty bad. They started getting better and better as, as time went on. Um, are you guys still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you <laughs> okay? Yeah, my my phone started ringing, and taking over my Zoom. Um, so uh, so just to to watch his progress through this, 
a few months in now, and to see him yesterday, I looked at Greg and I said, this is all you need. Just, <laughs> just look at him sitting over there. I was like, I, I was mind blown. So I, w- I wish you guys could all have seen this. But there, there's so many special stories and, and things that'll give you chills. Greg, thank you so much for sharing that with all of us. That's yeah, exactly and what there everybody There are special needs to hear. stories. Everybody, there are special stories. My point was, go find them. Go, go find the people. Reach out. Find the people that 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 can genuinely benefit uh, in a really, really substantial way, in a life-changing way from these products. Um. Anyway, um, we've got uh, the announcements for the. For the giveaways tonight, if nobody else has any more questions, and yes, a video would be great. We will we will look into that and see how carefully we have to tread uh, from a um, from a company standpoint as far as the video. But as you can see, his testimony is on the field of reaction page under the testimonies. Hey, oh, hey Jeff, on. Jeff, to stay yeah. back. Can I just say oh, one thing? Absolutely. Going, going back to the doctor side of things, uh-huh. we've got a couple of ambassadors under us that have regularly see their doctors because of conditions that they have mm-hmm. and they're converting their doctors. They're not trying to sell their doctors, but they're going to their doctors and the doctors are saying, what are you doing? Yep. I think yeah. you know Heather or you've heard of Heather. She had a stroke in her early forties and right. her doctor said, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. We had one this week with uh, one of our ambassadors who's had blood pressure problems for years. And she's now off her blood pressure medication. And a doctor said, I don't know what you've been doing, but keep doing it. Yeah, that's amazing. And that's, and that's the way to go as far as it's, kind it's of bringing them around. Selling. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So again, these stories, guys, that's why we're all here. That's why we're all doing this is because, because of the power of this, uh, of, of this product. Um, okay, a couple of things. Uh, we've got the winners to announce for tonight. The winner of the T-shirt, I think, is there somebody named Race? Is there somebody under a name? That's his name, Race, Race. Liberani. Okay, Race, dude, you won the yeah. T-shirt. <laughs> nice. Way to go! Congratulations. And uh, again, this just in from Price Waterhouse. Uh, the winner of the tincture is Greg. Is that who we just talked to? Yeah. Is there more than one Greg, or? That's how awesome. Yes. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? <laughs> that you're also the the, win, the winner of the tincture tonight. Congratulations. Well, that's cool. Awesome. Uh, Race. We'll need to know what size you are. Um, Woohoo! So if we can do that. Uh, just a couple of reminders before we go. We have our uh, event here tomorrow night uh, in the Charlotte or uh, Huntersville slash Mooresville area. Uh, for anybody that's in the area and that can make it and can invite others. Um, I've invited some friends that have already said no to me uh, at this time as far as getting uh, involved with reaction. But I said, listen, would you come and support me? Would you come and, and kind of, you know, give me your thoughts uh, about it? And they're coming. Um, so if you have anybody uh, in the area, if you're in the area, please come by 7 o'clock at Langtree, exit 31 off the 77. Uh, there will be no z- product Zoom tomorrow night. Uh, because of that, so Victoria and Lindy will not be doing their regular, uh, their regular Zoom. And I know Lindy's dealing with a family illness, um, and we're all praying and keeping our fingers crossed for for, for Paula, Lindy. And then finally, next Wednesday, the twelfth, or next Thursday, I should say, the twelfth, is our second uh, women's group meeting here in the uh, in the area as well. Again, we're 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 not going to be recording any of those because it it uh, kind of goes against the idea of having a safe space for people to talk um, and, not, and not broadcasting it, but we will work with anybody that is interested, as I mentioned last week, in putting together a team of people, a team of speakers that would come, Rachel and David, some of the doctors you're talking to, if they kind of, you know, uh, you know swing our way, if you know anybody else uh, that's involved in natural uh, homeopathic medicine, then uh, line them up and we can share the template for what we're doing down here. And I think it's, um, it's a great way to reach a large number of people. So again, thank you again. I know we ran late tonight. Thanks very much. Again, happy uh, anniversary or uh, Thanksgiving. And get the address of the event on there. Yes, you can get the address of the event on the Field of Reaction website. Thanks again. And I hope everybody has a great week and reach out to us with any questions or, or suggestions on how we can, we can help.
everybody has a kick-ass week.